In this episode of how to tell if your PC is hacked, we're going to look at one of the most advanced forensic tools. Just like Process Explorer and Auto Runs, this is also part of the Microsoft Sys internal suite, which you can download from learn.microsoft.com. It's a completely portable tool, so you don't have to install anything. And once you open it, you are going to be greeted with this little filter window. And we'll see why this is important, but for now, I'm just gonna hit okay. And right away, we are bombarded by all this stuff on the screen. And if you're wondering what is all this, this is essentially what is happening on your system right now. This is showing you every single activity, every single registry query, file change, anything that's happening on the system, it is showing you that in real time. If you wanna stop this flow, you can just turn off auto scroll and now it's a static list. But of course, if you look at the bottom left, the events are still being collected. So if you wanted a detailed forensic log, well, you got it. Now the system we're looking at right now is an infected system. And not only is it compromised by several crypto miners, it is actually hijacked to the point that even if we go and try to download an antivirus from somewhere, it's gonna look like we're downloading an antivirus, but when we open it, it is going to show us a fake antivirus that has completely taken control of the system. And I'm going to show you what indicates this type of behavior inside of Process Monitor. So one of the things that I found suspicious right away as I opened it is all of these queries for AMC providers. If you look over here, we've got svchost.exe, which is supposed to be a system process, but it's continuously querying AMSI slash providers. AMSI stands for anti-malware scan interface and an AMSI provider would be an antivirus that's installed on your system. And while it may be normal to have one or two queries, it's hard to understand why you would need to do thousands of queries in real time to keep getting that information unless you were trying to actively detect and terminate any possible antivirus provider that was installed on the system. And if you want to understand what exactly it's doing, you can look at the operations over here. So it says reg query key. So it's sending a query to the registry. Then it's enumerating the key until there's no more entries. And then it's closing the key. The registry in Windows is kind of like a system logbook that not only keeps track of everything on your system, but that also controls how things behave on the system. So for example, you could disable an antivirus like Windows Defender via the registry by changing a single key value. So it's not difficult to understand why a malware would be interested in that. Now if we scroll down, we've got another process called sihost.exe. And this is making a lot of network connections via TCP, sending and receiving data. That is what is logged over here. If we double click this, we can actually see the path, the class of the operation, which is network, go through the process, how it started in the command line, which looks pretty suspicious, honestly. And of course, we can keep going through this list, but that might take forever. So one of the key features that you wanna use if you're using Process Monitor is filters. So if you click on the filter tab, it's going to allow you to set specific filters to get the information that you want. So for example, once we have identified one of the suspicious processes, let's say it's sihost.exe, we can create a filter based on process name and then set it as SI host, or you can just select it from here and then you can choose to include it. Now this is quite versatile. So if I wanted to exclude a certain process, I could just select the process and say exclude. So if there's regular system activity going on that's disturbing, you can exclude that. If there's a Windows update, you can exclude that. And you can really focus in on the details and the operations that are of significance. So we're going to add this filter now hit apply, and the moment this is done, as you can see, our view is completely transformed. And now I can actually turn on auto scroll without getting overwhelmed too fast because now we're only looking at sihost.exe and what it's doing. And it's very clear what it's doing. It is the network component of the malware. Now, another way to filter through these events is to select the kind of operation you wanna see. So for example, if you only wanna see changes within the file system, you can select show file system activity and disable registry network and everything else. And now we're only seeing files that are created, deleted, read, 
all of that stuff. For example, if you were suspecting ransomware activity, you could just select this and see what files are being modified. If you only want to see network activity, well, you just select that. And now we are only seeing network connections being made. So if you're trying to identify all of the different addresses your system is connecting to, which process is connecting to where, this is a great view to do it. Similarly, if you want to look at the registry, you can select just that. If you're looking for things like process injection, you can select process and thread activity. And this is gonna show you what processes are created, what threads are created. So if there's multi-threading going on, any DLLs being loaded, this is going to show that. So for example, we can see all of these DLLs being loaded by this process. These are of course known system DLLs, but if you do see a system process loading an unknown DLL, something that you do not recognize, and you can Google these names by the way, then that could be a potential hijack attempt. Now, another cool thing you can do is you can turn the capture on and off anytime. So we can turn it on, it's gonna start recording. And once we have the data that we want, we don't wanna be flooded with more, we can just hit the capture button again and it's just gonna stop. Now, as you use this tool more and more, you're going to be able to use different filters to observe different types of behavior. And the only use case is not necessarily to detect malware. You could use this to see what a certain system process is doing, if something is trying to spy on you, if some company is sending some data somewhere, if some application is behaving in a way you don't like. Now, just to show you what this looks like on my host system, you can see we've got a ton of different things going on just in the network alone. So we've got Discord connecting, we've got Armory Crate, which is the ASUS software for my motherboard. That's constantly probably checking for updates or whatever. We've got NVIDIA container, we've got Steam. And again, if I wanted to look at any one of these more closely, I could go into the filter section and I could say, hmm, I want to see what this whole ASUS framework is doing. As usual, I can go to the process name, and then select the ASUS framework.exe, add that rule, hit apply. And now we're only looking at the connections being made by the ASUS framework. So there you have it. That is Process Monitor. It's a very powerful tool. As you can see, there's a lot of information there. And once you become an expert with the filters, you can use this to do just about anything. There are no secrets anymore. Please like and share this video and let me know if you'd like to see more content like this. If you like looking under the hood and exploring alternative systems, even in the world of finance, you'll be interested in the sponsor. With money markets being as they are and hyperinflation hitting most of US and Europe, it is a good time to think about investment strategies in different markets. You might have heard about precious metals, but what about art? Today's sponsor Masterworks gives people like you and I access to invest in artwork by legends like Picasso, Banksy Monet, a market that has traditionally been quite niche. The interesting thing about Masterworks is that it allows almost anybody to invest in a share of the art, so you don't need millions to invest in historic artwork. It's it's a brand new market and Masterworks offerings have sold out within hours and every sale to date has delivered positive returns to their investors. With over 700,000 signups, there's an invite process. With link in description, you will be able to go straight through and schedule a call with an advisor to get started. Now I've gone through this process myself. The signup process is pretty simple and you don't need a credit card until you decide to purchase. So you can sign up via their website, get to the dashboard, look at their latest offerings and see if anything looks interesting to you. Masterworks is quite an innovative platform, so there's a lot to explore. And like I said, you can sign up and do your research without even using your card. So consider checking them out using the link in description. As with any investment, there's always going to be risk. So you should do your due diligence before investing. Personally, I like to say don't invest what you can't afford to lose. I've linked all of their information and disclosures in the description below. So feel free to read through. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Masterworks works for sponsoring this video and as always stay informed stay secure